making some meringue. We go with this lemon meringue pie. I've already made the lemon sauce. I had it in a double boiler. <clears throat> this is getting pretty hot here. I don't know if I'm going to need all this meringue, so I might make some pecan meringue cookies with it. You can bake them. Uh, we used to do that at this restaurant I worked at called Lifesaver. Chicken restaurant and southern food. And we would put the pecans from the pecan pie in the um, leftover meringue and bake them and have little cookies that we made. <laughs> Just for the employees if we had extra meringue. But I'm thinking about making a um, custard pie with my other crust. Either that or a pecan pie, because my aunt gave us some free pecans. So, now that this is forming some high peaks and troughs, I think I can um, have enough for the topping of the lemon meringue pie and make the cookies and I'll make the pecan pie. But I'll have to use regular syrup for the pecan pie because I don't have any uh, dark corn syrup right now. <clears throat> It's coming along nicely. All right, this is looking really good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got the nice peaks and troughs. That's what they used to call it at the restaurant I worked at. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but that's what we called it. All right, let me see if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this and hold it at the same time. Oh my goodness, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna try to switch it around. Oh, it won't let you switch it around once it's already on. So, I'm just going to have to pour this in here and see if it'll come out. No, it's not coming out. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it's really thick. I'm just going to have to, uh, I get a spoon and put the um, lemon meringue filling in there for the most part. And if there's any left over, I'll just save it. And, um, I don't know, I'll have some with a little bit of meringue on the side or something. Because I think it, there's more than enough to fill this pie shell anyway. That way you can see what I'm doing because I can't um, I can't just hold it and hold the pot and use the um, spatula to get it out. So no, there's just enough to wouldn't you know it? <laughs> there's just enough to fill that pie tin or pie filling crust. So let me get the rest of it real quick. Wow, it's pretty close. There could actually be a little bit more, but this will be sufficient. I'll just get the rest of it. I had um, some, I put some lemon, fresh lemon juice from two lemons um, and one and a half cups of water and uh, about five tablespoons of um, what do they call that stuff? Cornstarch and some sugar. I don't remember how much sugar I had to use. It was on the recipe. I think it was like a cup and a half of sugar or something, maybe less, maybe it was one cup, I don't know, but this is good, this is perfect, and uh, I'm going to let that cool just a little bit, so the meringue will be easier to put on, because if it's like too hot, sometimes the meringue doesn't uh, go on as easy as it, if it's already cooled, but there's plenty of meringue, that's for sure, so I'm going to go ahead and chop up some pecans that I have in this big old bag that I got. From my aunt and <laughs> there's plenty to last a while <laughs> i think we're gonna make some um pecan pie as well but this is so good i'm gonna have to taste it uh, oh god that's delicious perfect just like when i worked at that restaurant we did such a good job <laughs> everybody always loved buying those it's too bad the one here in town shut down but there's still one in two towns nearby so, everybody loves going there, getting their chicken strips and their seafood and pies and chicken and everything. It's just so good. And their side dishes. 